what is trial balance and how to create a trial balance. And to create a trial balance, uh, our ledger account should be ready. And to create a ledger account, that our journal should be ready. So these are the steps. So that's why this is account known as accounting cycle. According to the accounting cycle, I can show you here. The first is the recognition of the general entry, requisition of the transaction, then make general entry, then posting in general to ledger, prepare a trial balance, and prepare financial statement. In financial statement, we will prepare, prepare profit and loss count and balance sheet. Now, the general entry that we have here, five. So I'm going to create one more general entry here. According to the transaction number six, for example, that we have given services to our our uh, employees, uh, sorry, to our customers. Uh, let's say um, we, we have uh, sold some of the food in our food company and uh, cash is received. So cash account debit, let's say 5,500 to revenue. That is 5,500. So in this case, and that we can write here in our transaction in narration that uh, the cash sale, cash sale is made and money is received. Cash sale is made and money is received. How much money is the dollar 5,500? So this is the transaction that we have done here. And the seventh uh, transactions is the rent of the building, right? So that, but now we don't have any rent of a uh, building here. But for example, that uh, if we have uh, hired some of the items or maybe some appliances on rent, and we are giving the rent of appliances. This is the expenditure of the company. So rent of something. So rent of appliances or maybe that we got one machinery uh, appliances or machinery you can write it here for more, more convenience so rent of machinery is let's say this is of five one five zero zero is the rent of a machinery and we have paid this machinery rent by cash okay. so in narration we can write here all are 1500 paid as a rent of machinery. That's it, right? So now these two general entry we have completed. So first is a cash account debit to service revenue. Go to ledger. We already have a cash account, no need to create it. So cash account debit to sales revenue amount here that we can write here $5,500. Sales revenue account that we don't have. So we need to create a sales revenue account here. So sales revenue account that we can create it here. Already that we have one account. What, what can I do? That I'm going to copy paste it. I'm going to delete uh, this one and I'm going to overwrite it and sell writing sales revenue. Okay, so I have deleted whatever it was there before. So now look at this. What what we write it here in the sales revenue? In the sales revenue, it is like 5,500 on the credit side. Go to sales revenue, write 5,500 on the credit side. And in narration, in the particulars that we write by cash. So this general entry is posted into ledger. The second one is rent of the machinery to cash. So rent of the machinery is the expenditure that we are going to write it here, all the expenditure and assets. So here, I'm going to overwrite this truck with the rent of machinery. Rent of machinery is here. So rent of machinery account debit to cash. So here that I'm going to write here to cash and amount is here $1,500. So, in cash, we will write the rent of machinery. Go to cash and we will write uh, here $1,500. And here I'm going to write to buy rent of machinery.
So now I have posted uh, all these uh, general entries into ledger. So now the ledger balance we can see how many ledger count we have. Just we can count number one, number two, the three, four, then five, six, seven, eight and nine. So nine ledger count we have here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on this plus sign to create a trial balance. And just to convert to rename this one, the by default, this is sheet two. I want to rename. First of all, I will click on this one. After the right click, I'll see the rename button and just I'm going to change this trial balance. So the trial balance is uh, here that I'm going to write it here. Here accounts head means I'm going to write here ledger ledger head then i'm going to write here debit i'm going to write here credit so debit credit and ledger head okay so i'm going to select it and put the border here this one is just I am just going to fill with the yellow color at the top. I'm just going to write it here. Trial balance. So margin center. I'm going to write here. Trial balance of RJ food company. OK, control B is for bold. OK, so look at this. So we have a ledger head, we have a debit and credit balance. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to write all the balances. First of all, go to cash. So cash. Then we have bank. Then we have truck. So here I'm going to write it here cash. Bank. Truck. Right. And the next one we have here in the ledger. Rent of machinery. I'm going to write rent of machinery. Now I'm going to write on the on this side RJ's capital account. OK, so here I'm going to write RJ's. Capital. Then we have Mr. Lee loans account. And next we have Ms. Mira. Next we have TD Bank loan account, right? So TD Bank Bank loan account. Next we have sales revenue. OK, so I am writing here sales revenue. So the simple rule is that debit balance on debit side of the trial balance and credit balance that we will put on the credit side of the balance. So I can do this in two ways. The one way is I just see the 24,000. Look at this. The first is $24,000 that is related to the cash balance. And cash balance, debit balance is 24,000. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to write a $24,000 here. But I don't want to do like this. What I want in future, if we do some more general entries or some more transact transactions, then uh, it will be going to affect in ledger account, right? right? And uh, the balance will be updated. Again, we have to do here corrections. So instead of going the, doing that thing. I'm just going to write the equal to sign. And go to ledger. Click on this one. $24,000 balance and enter. Automatically it is coming here. OK, so now I'm going to repeat it for the bank account. So look at this. I'm going to click it here is equal to sign first, right? Now go to ledger. You can see the bank balance here. Click on this $15,000. Enter automatically is coming. Truck account. 
is equal to sign here. Go to truck balance account here, 17,000. Click enter. It is coming here. Next, we have RJ Capital and Rent of Machinery. So, Rent of Machinery is equal to it's also debit balance. Click on this. Enter in the balance amount. It is coming here automatically. RJ Capital account on the credit side. So, why this is on the credit side? The reason being, we have a credit balance here. This is the balance is more. This balance is less. This is the credit balance. So here credit side is more. So credit balance. Here the debit side is more. So debit balance. So this is capital account is just like equity of the Venus. So this is owner's capital account. Enter. It is coming here. Mr. Lee's loan is equal to sign here. Go to ledger account. Mr. Lee, Lee account you can see here. Click on $15,000 and press enter. It will automatically showing here on the credit side of trial balance. Next we have Miss Mira is equal to sign here again. Go to Miss Mira. Click here $5,000 automatically coming here. Is equal to sign here in front of like TD bank loan account. Go to TD bank loan account here. Click on the balance amount. That's it. The last one that we have a service revenue. So some of the food items that we sold and generated revenue. So revenue balance is here that we are putting it here on the credit side. So after that, we want to make a total of all these. Select this one and select the credit side. What you will see, you will you will see uh, the balance should be equal, but the balance is not uh, equal here. There may be some uh, error. So what is the error that we need to find it out? To find out the error, we see how much is the difference here is equal to sign here 60,000 minus this one enter $3,000 difference. OK, so why there is a different? We will go and see. Look at the ledger account and we will go up. We will see here $24,000. Look at the $24,000 is fine. And a bank account, this is $15,000. Right, so bank account is $15,000. Then we have truck account is a $17,000. It's a from TD bank loan. Right, and next we have a rent of the building $15,500. This is also okay. So next we can see here RJ capital is $10,000. Right, so RJ capital is here $10,000. And next one is $15,000 for lease account. Yes. Then the Mira is a $5,000. Let's see Mira is a $5,000. Yes. So TD bank loan is $25,000. So TD bank loan is $25,000. This is also here. And $5,500 is here. So all the balances are here. Okay. But there is a difference of $3,000. So let me see again. Which general entry that we have done wrong? Maybe rent of the machinery to cash. No, it's from the TD bank loan. In uh, the yes. journal 25. And uh, on the, the journal, legend, yeah, 22. TD bank loan account is 25, this one. Yeah, and on the ledger, it's 22. On the in the ledger count, yeah. yes. Bank, yes. Is it 22, yes, right. yeah. so this yeah. is this is the figure that yes. we can find, right? So it should be $25,000. So when I press enter here, it is converted into 18,000 and automatically it is converted 18,000 here. I no need to do anything here. This is the beauty of Microsoft Excel and how to use this one, right? I did not change anything here. I just changed here that it, it was uh, something else. So we made it corrections so from 22 to 25,000 and automatically the balance is updated here. And the balance is also updated here. Right, so now the debit side and the credit side are equal. It means we have posted all the general entry to the ledger and ledger to the trial bench correctly. So this is uh, how to how to create trial balance of any company.